Good morning. Yep, I bought another one. This is my tulip. And it's like it's, it's not as pretty as the other one, but it is still very beautiful and it's so relaxing to watch. So today, because there's no wind and no rain, I thought I'd um, do a quick video of my garden. It's looking really pretty at the moment with all the roses. It's um, red November, which I'm not sure if we're still in spring. September, October, November. Yep, we're still in spring. So we have one more month of decent weather and then it could get quite hot then. But going by the last few years, it hasn't. It's been fairly reasonable, at least where I live. Anyway, that's my septic. That's my ugly septic. And this is the back, the back of my garden bed. And the reason we have the garden bed is to hide the septic and to hide the neighbours because I like privacy. And I think they like a bit of privacy too. So we have this buffer, which is quite pretty between us. Yeah, so here we have a new addition. It's a bottle brush and I've got a feeling it may get quite big so I'm going to have to prune that one and keep it in check because it has probably two two meter area that it can grow in but I don't want it um, shading the roses so I'll probably keep it keep it pruned there's my daisies it's gone nuts these are the best thing for smothering weeds but the thing is they get really big and I don't want the whole garden full of them. So they're just dotted around the place. This is my, I think, what they call them, a ground cherry. It's getting quite big and it seems really happy in this spot. So we get plenty of fruit off it. Might have enough to do something decent this year. Gora, looking a bit sad. But it's, um, I have to cut that dead stuff out. I had to get in there and get rid of all the grass. So I'll cut out that dead bit. <coughs> These um, gora plants, they just pop up wherever they like to grow. And if they pop up in the wrong spot, I'll rip them out. <laughs> this is a new addition. Uh, I put that in about a year ago. So it has no perfume, but it's a really pretty rose. And the one up there does have a perfume, the red one. I hope you can see it because really all I can see is my shadow. And I've got a lovely pink one back there, and a just joey, and a yellow, pale yellow one. I'll come around here. I'll come around, around my statue, my garden art. Yeah, maybe you can see it. There's a just joey back there. And the pale yellow one I brought with me from Mother Garden. It survived. It's doing well this year. It's a really pretty one. And my carpet rose, it's a gorgeous colour, apricot and lemon, just beautiful. So, we'll just do a quick walk around and have a quick look at the flowers. There's another rose, I've got a feeling that's a Lincoln, Lincoln rose. There's a lovely perfume, the red one. And I have a chamomile which I've dotted around the place. It's um, all over the place. Hopefully it'll take over because it's a great ground cover. Helps smother the weeds. And this is my um, plant hanger that I brought with me from my old house. <coughs> it's very old. And I've got a few petunias in there and this pot's doing well because I used fresh new garden soil, potting soil. And this one, I thought I'd try and pot it up in the old soil. And it's doing not so well. But I've been feeding it. So feeding it liquid seaweed liquid fertiliser. And it's uh, starting to take off a little bit better now. Probably just needed some food. And that one, that little pot person down there, my husband bought me years ago. And the little face on it reminds me of my granddaughter. So I take good care of it 
and it can't fall out because I've got um, I don't know if you can see it maybe not I put pegs at the back of it metal sort of peg things to keep it from falling out oh, all I can see is my shadow but anyway maybe you can see it back there anyway I love him her it it's an it don't know if it's a female I guess it's a female because it's purple all those guys like purple too anyway I love it another rose which came out of my garden from the old house it's doing well there's my azalea it's almost done it's um, quite happy where it is I'm surprised it gets full sun all day it's growing well there's a few natives back there there's a bottle brush not a bottle brush a grevillea not very happy with that one the picture showed a, a brilliant red flower but it's sort of a maroon color but anyway it's there now and at the back in front of the purple um, I think it's a native hibiscus is a mop top what are they called hydrangea so it's starting to take off that's from my old garden too another carpet rose and this funny looking thing a fishing wand plant or whatever they call it anyway they've, they've all self seeded from this one but I'll probably have to move these smaller ones because they get quite big and I don't really want them there so I'll pop them in another part of the garden and I'm still piling grass on the garden bed boxes and grass and my neighbour will have plenty of it because the grass has gone nuts now there's another rose there I'm not sure what colour it looks like a red one so it's getting quite big now and oh, this is one from my old garden it has a yellow yellow rose and it's doing well just ground cover type plants another rose it's a sort of a crimsony pink one it's a looks like a miniature type rose I don't think it'll get much bigger than that it's big enough and this beauty it's one of my favorites no idea what it's called but it it just flowers for months on end irises and some purple ground cover type thing daylilies there's a, a lavender which is um, variegated not sure if I like it yet and what do we have we'll go for, ah what do we have my other artwork garden art statue whatever I love it now I'll wander around through here try not to fall over I'm trying not to film the neighbor's place that's another rose that one's doing quite well and this one I love it's beautiful no idea what it's called it's got a label on it but I can't read it from here and some sort of native I think they're from Africa those ones they're not even Australian natives but they are lovely now I've got a couple of those it's another one they get quite big so I'm gonna have to keep it in check there's another type of native over here quite a pretty thing don't ask me their names no idea I've got the labels stashed away somewhere but anyway it's very nice it's uh, probably four times the size it was when I planted it this is the other side of that rose it's gorgeous uh, this one I do know it's a blue moon I would call it purple moon but mauve lilac moon they call it blue it's another rose which is coming good I've got to get some more um, grass clippings and continue the uh, uh, what do you call it <sighs> mulch grass mulch kill grass with grass so I just got to watch my step here otherwise I could be in trouble it's a very pretty rose there's no perfume on it but it is a nice rose I need to cut off the dead 
the spent blooms, I guess you call it. Dead flowers, that's what I call it. My artwork. <laughs> You'll be getting sick of seeing this thing. It's very relaxing to watch. Anyway, I'll quickly walk across here, so it might be a bumpy ride for you. Whiz around. Don't feel sick. <clears throat> this um, dead thing, it's not completely dead, it's a mandarin. And it had to cope with some terrible wind a few weeks back and it just lost all its leaves. So I think I'm going to take it out of this pot. And I'll put it in another pot. This is a baseless pot. But I shall put it into another pot. And give it some care, nurse it back to health. And I'll find a better spot for it. And as we come around here, we see some more of these lovely... Oh, I wish I knew the name of them. Anyway, I don't know a lot of the names. There's no label. But anyway, they're very pretty. And they're about to go nuts. And I think these two might be a bit close together. But I can keep them pruned. Lemon tree that my sister gave me. It's also in a baseless pot. It's doing okay, even after all that wind it had to cope with. So it's fairly happy. And that rose, that uh, peachy colour one there, my sister gave me. So it's doing quite well actually. I might send her this video so she can see it. And this one is an orange tree and surprisingly it hasn't died. It also had to cope with that wind. Two solid weeks of 100 kilometer winds and I'm surprised that <laughs> I'm surprised that that roof is still there. My husband wouldn't even go to bed. He stayed up because he thought he'd rather be up if the roof takes off than um, have to cope with it if he was asleep and got woken up by it. Anyway, this is back to the messy bit. I've got more cardboard to put down and um, once I get my hands on some more grass. From my lovely neighbour who loves to cut his grass regularly and because he cuts it so regularly I don't get a lot of seed which is good. And this rose, though it's looking a bit uh, straggly, is a cutting from one of the roses that I had at home at the other house before we moved. So I took cuttings and that one and another one survived. A blueberry bush, shouldn't really be there. Weeds, but I'll deal with those. These cannas are from my um, other garden as well. They're the nice orangey ones. And that rose, it's also a cutting, same as the one I just showed you. So I've got to do a bit of weeding in there. But it's doing well. It's starting to get quite big now. They, they, it gets about five foot tall, that one. Probably two foot wide. So it's got plenty of space there. Lily pillies, I put those in two years ago. And they're meant to create a barrier here. Because I sit over there and I don't really want to see the neighbours. I just like to look at my garden have a bit of privacy so that's why I put this barrier of lily billies here and I'm hoping they won't get too big but we can prune them I have gardening shears and here we have the um, comfrey which uh, I have dotted around all over the place and I just rip the leaves off and lay them around the plants and they do whatever they're meant to do and we're back at the septic so we've walked around my garden and this is really probably only proper bed that I have because it is just too much work, too hard to maintain. So I've got the cut flower garden beds out the front but they're different, they're much better. So um, much easier to weed than this thing. But anyway I'm working on the weed problem and I think the grass will help because it's it's all piled up over there and I've still got this area here to do and that will get done in the next probably couple of weeks. There's another rose, a really pretty one. I hope you can see it. All I can see is glare from the sun. So I uh, hope you have a lovely cup, cup weekend which is what we're having in Australia at the moment. And it's um, Tuesday, day of the races. 
well, hopefully maybe somebody will win. I'm sure somebody will. Probably not me because I'm not betting. I'm just going to enjoy my garden, clean the house, cut some grass, cook some dinner, and then go to bed. Okay, you all have a lovely cup day, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.